Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today, we're taking a look at a box, at a keyboard I've been waiting for for a while. At a box that's been sitting here for a minute, and I've just been trying to get the time to get to it. This actually may be in a couple of parts, but I'll try to edit it all together. I have finally received the Keep Monkey 1800. Um, fortunately, there was an issue uh, with my shipping. So it had to be reshipped, but no big issue. Uh, Key Monkey is always amazing with their uh, customer service. So today we're going to be taking just an unboxing, a look at the keyboard. Um, I've actually I bought the keys too as well. So just going to take a quick look at it, but then I'm going to do another video getting into um, the software and the remapping because I know there was an issue, but I really couldn't follow as I didn't have the board. But now that I have the board, I'm going to look into it and see if I can either come up with a tutorial or I believe KeepMonkey said that they were working on an update. So we'll get into that in a further video. Right now, this is just a quick overview, unboxing of the KeepMonkey 1800. Now, um... This is a, a white label, of course, um, from another company. I believe the original uh, product is called uh, a donkey. <laughs> uh, I think. Something like that. I don't know. Crazy names they come up with nowadays. So, um, all right, let me see where this box opens. In this video, we'll see one guy against a box. Who will win? Ah, there we go. All right. I knew it had a flap around here somewhere. All right, um, so we've got a nice little man. Yeah, James Donkey. I was right. All right, uh, Donkey, James Donkey. So we've got an instruction manual. Um, that's right, this one is three mode. So it has a wireless capability, wired 2.4 and Bluetooth. Um, Restore to factory, Windows and Mac mode. So it has a Windows Mac mode switch. It looks like it has a 3,000 milliamp hour battery. Not too bad, but it probably could have been bigger. Um, then we also have a card. This is very reminiscent of a Keychron. Um, although, card really isn't going to help me much unless I uh, pull out my Google Lens as uh, it's all in uh, Chinese. But, okay, no problem. Now, let's see. Okay, let's see what else we've got. In here. We've got a really basic uh, plastic keycap puller and a switch puller also a very basic one and then a um, USB A to USB C cable it's it's nicely made it's thin uh, but the color of it it's it's a nice beige so it matches um, I've got to say that for me that is probably I mean all the design but I like beige I know retro but all right so let's pull this puppy out. I'm gonna go ahead and put this mess back in here for now. And just move this out of the way. And here we go. Now, um, off the bat, I mean, I do, I gotta say the plate is interesting. It, I believe it's an FR4 plate. Um, there is padding between the PCB and the plate. And there actually seems to be um, either some EVA or PE foam right around each of the switches. Yes, this is north facing, but um, north facing in interference is pretty much not an issue anymore. And if for some reason you do have a switch that does not have an adapted mold, you just roll up a little piece of paper and stick it inside the stem hole for the key cap. That's it. Um, so I, I honestly, I, I prefer North facing because if I do want to use shine through keycaps, which I don't that often, but sometimes I do build boards for friends and I just know they're going to want to shine through. So I prefer North facing, but anyway, so we're talking about this one now. I, I gotta be honest off the bat. It is, uh, it's kind of, um, uh, lightweight don't have my scale handy I'd like to weigh it but it's definitely it's less than a I would guess less than a pound I would definitely guess less than a pound now the knob seems to be no oh, 
it's different than most knobs. Most knobs have been the D knobs. Um, so this one is the circular one with the, um, I mean, there's the guitar knobs also come like this. Um, but I'm just surprised it's using a different style knob. Um, so also, uh, it's uh, interesting, I've never seen this before. The uh, keys, even though they're supposed to be remappable, they're actually um, legended on the uh, on the plate. That's something uh, <laughs> pretty new, I must say. I've never seen that before um, that I can speak of. Let me see if I have a spare USB C cable here so we can see what these lights look like. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do believe that this is a just white backlit, I believe. Yeah, I'm almost positive looking at these. Um, so it says num lock is on, and then it has power, so it's charging. All right. So let me see what switches do I have here handy that we can put in here. Here we can go ahead and load her up. Let's see what the stock test sounds like. How about some gator on yellow? Loki tops. We're all pretty familiar with how these sound, and I think these will uh, should work okay. I mean, we're going to be blocking out the light, but since we're dealing with um, white light, uh, do I want something that has light? Nah. We want something that we know what it sounds like. So let's go ahead and load these up. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Now that is some flex. That is definitely some flex. I am, uh, they definitely did not lie when they said gasket mounted. That's for sure. That's what she looks like loaded up. A couple of things I wanted to note. She is well padded, like there between the, uh, sp the space bar. And if you guys are familiar uh, with plates, I'm sure that uh, many of you have come across, oh, sorry. I'm sure that many of you have come across plates that are too tight. I've never really come across one that's too loose. This one's just perfect. The fitment is just right. Um, I know that I sped that up, but basically I'm just sitting the switch in there and just barely pushing down and the plate's not being any obstruction. So if if there's any, you know, because I'm barely putting any pressure, if there's any blockage and I know that it's not, you know, there's something with a pin or it's not lined up or whatever. So I do like that. But one thing that I did notice that I'm not, I'm not sure why, but there's absolutely no um that i can see no lubrication on any of the stems yeah i don't i don't seem to find any lubrication i didn't take any out but yeah, yeah they're um dry as a bone so i'm just gonna go ahead and just uh Put a little tiny bit of uh, of super lube in there for the sound test. I think that's only fair. I guess they're assuming that you're gonna do it yourself, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it uh, for this uh, initial sound test. I'm gonna probably be modding uh, these. I, I know I'll be modding this keyboard probably. I know that's a joke, but yeah, I'm just gonna put basically just a little drop of super lube. Basically, so that there's no, uh, well, let's just hope there's no rattle. But I'm just giving it a little bit of lube there, so at least it has it. 
Alright. I kinda I, I I dig the knob. I mean the outside does feel like metal, but I don't know, I just like the look of it. I know the plastic in the middle and it and it's not like a light. It requires a good push, which I like because I've accidentally tapped other knobs and why did my sound go? Where did it go? So, um, of course, we're going to go ahead and be uh, loading up the the keycaps that are meant for it. Though, I do have another uh, keycap set in mind. Oh, probably shouldn't be throwing these on the ground. So, these uh, are not shining through, so pretty good that we didn't do that. I believe they are PBT. Um... Not sure if they're double shot. If they are, they're the cheap double shot to where it only goes to the top and not the body. But let's go ahead. Um, actually, just real quick before I speed this up. Yeah, that's the. Uh, sure I got the For stock, plate mounted stabs. I'm honestly surprised. I, I, I'm, uh, I'm kind of surprised. What magic is this? Okay. Now I know this is going to be a little hollow. All right. Uh, I, <laughs> I was not expecting that. I thought it was going to be pretty awful. I mean, they're not perfect, but they sound pretty good. I mean, I uh I can't These are, I mean, these are your thinner caps. I mean, they may be. Let me see. I don't. I guess I've got a tool. Why not? I will use it, right? If I can get to it. All right. So the body is. Oh, they're just at one millimeter, and that's kind of my cutoff. So I guess because it's at that one millimeter body width. It's just enough, because anything below that is definitely going to be clicky. I mean, I prefer it to be 1.5, but as long as it's over one millimeter of wall, excuse me, I, uh, I'm a happy camper, honestly. But, um, yeah, I'm a, <laughs> I, I, I gotta say, this board, it's, uh, I mean, I, I was excited for it, then I was like, meh. And now that I'm playing with it, putting it together, I uh, think I may make this my daily. But let me go ahead and load up the keys on here, talk about it a little more, and then we'll do a sound test, all right? So this is it. Um, she's definitely uh, retro rific. Uh, I must say, I do. All right, so let's go ahead and plug her in. I just want to get. Said I'm going to get a little bit more detailed into it later on. Right now, I just kind of just to out of the box get a stock sound test in. All right, so it's charging, that's cap, that's none. All right, well, we're not gonna, I know I personally don't use a uh, wireless. I really only have one keyboard that I use for wireless, it's an old Ajaz. And I have the neglecting software as well. So um, I am gonna be changing up my format to ensure that I cover as much information as possible just because it's a feature I might not use, it may be important to others that are looking at these boards. So this is just a quick unboxing and talking about the features and a stock sound test. Um, the more in-depth video, I'm gonna open her up, see what we got inside of her, test Bluetooth as well as 2.4 connectivity. 
um, charging times, things like that, just to give a little bit more information about this board. Um, it is available from Keep Monkey, of course. Uh, they do have different shipping rates, and it's also available on Drop.com uh, for a little bit more. But obviously, they ship a little bit quicker. But it's a kind of a pre-order. I, I think they need a a particular number of orders before they will go ahead and commit to ordering however many. Um, I'd say go to Keep Monkey directly if you don't mind waiting. But I, and they offer excellent customer service i do say that but um for right now i, I gotta say this uh this keyboard is definitely hitting that retro vibe and honestly i'm somewhat tempted to put some of my clickies in here i only have a couple sets of clickies but uh, they are all 110 this is 99 keys so um if I really wanted to get that buckling experience going. <laughs> but uh, for right now, oh yeah, I did, uh, here's the uh, the 2.4 gigahertz receiver, which does seem to uh, stay in very good. I, there's some that they just fall out with the slightest little, you know, little pinch, but I, I accidentally hit some keys because I'm plugged in right now. Um, I just wanted to talk about the two different feet, the angles here that we have. Um, So we've got three different uh, degrees of typing. The first one's actually pretty good. I'd say that's a probably a five or a six off the bat. So you're gonna have some really high angles. Yeah, that's super high. Um, the front of it seems to be only sitting up about, uh, about 24 millimeters off of the uh, tabletop. Uh, so, but yeah, I've got to say, I mean, even though it doesn't have RGB, but obviously I'm covering up the lights with the switches I'm using right now anyway. Um, most of you will know what a uh, Gatoron Milky Pro will sound like. So yeah, like. as I was saying, this definitely uh, brings out the retro vibes. Um, so I'm, and I'm honestly, I'm surprised at how well the stabilizers sound. And I mean, technically not stock, because I did put a tiny amount of super lube in there. But I'm honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed. So for right now, like I said, I'm going to just leave you guys with a sound test of this basically stock, except for the, you know, my lube. And then I'm going to come back to it, open her up. Let's see what we got in there. See if we can improve anything. But there's already, a, I mean, you can see that flex. I mean, there is flex for days out of the box. I mean, this is probably out of the box, probably the flexiest keyboard. So if flex is your thing, um, especially full size or 1800, I mean, this is, I mean, you don't have to get the caps. I'm probably going to switch out the caps. Although I, I, I like them for right now. I like them. They match. And yes, I have other caps that work on here, but I'm liking it. What can I say? I mean, I like it. So anyway, um, until the next time, keep calm, keyboard on. Peace and cheers, my friends.